Hello. I am not my silly self in this video. I don't know if it shows, but I am not in a good mood, because I got a strike for a 6 year old video, where I was one of the many YouTubers, exposing the channel of Daddy05, for abusing his younger son from an earlier marriage. He uploaded this in YouTube videos that had millions of views, and before the adpocalypse, this meant lots of income. The way he did it, he destroyed the kid's Xbox for something he didn't do, and called it a prank. When Ned, my producer, watched some of these videos he was livid. Then we made this one, where I took over. This is a video about- Ned, huh? shut the fuck up. Okay. Because I am 7 years old, I am way better qualified to address this asshole, Daddy05. I will not lose my temper, nor will I shout. Like we said, this is a response to the YouTube channel named, Daddy05. Who is, to my opinion, terrorizing his children, calls it pranks, and makes tons of money on YouTube over their misery. For the people who don't yet know about it, below here, is a link to a video by Mr. Rapsion, explaining all about it. I am only a little anime girl, on a small channel. Everyone out there, create a video, taking apart this piece of shit, named Daddy05. Let's show some anime power, and see how much he likes it to be the victim for a change. Beside me, literally hundreds of YouTube channels expressed their disgust about the behavior of these parents. It escalated so much, even the news picked this up. I have shortened this clip because it is just too agonizing seeing parents doing this to their kids, and call it pranks. Cody! Me. I didn't do that! Harmless prank or outrageous abuse of their kids. The video starts with a Maryland mother holding a bottle of magic disappearing ink. I'm going to squirt it all over his carpet and start flipping out. That's exactly what she does. Then she screams for her 10-year-old son, Cody. What the f I didn't do that! Even the father joins in, as the youngster says he didn't do anything. Why did you do that? You ruined the carpet. Get out of here! Mind your business! I didn't do that! Mommy, Dad, I didn't Oh my do God! Another son is suddenly dragged into it. So you were up here too? No! You did it too! You both did it! Both youngsters burst into tears. They're shattered to be so falsely accused. Only after three minutes of torment do the parents finally reveal it's all a prank. We got you both. They were you were innocent bystander. Yeah. You just got owned. It's just a prank, bruh. <laughs> Hearing these grown-ups laugh at their crying children. Even after six years, it still makes me sick, watching this again. Let me say this, I am glad that I am an animated character and cannot physically throw up. The narrator called that woman their mom, but in fact, she isn't. The two boys are from an earlier marriage of the man, I am not calling him father, because he does not deserve that name, same as the woman does not deserve to be called a mother. We've agreed to identify the parents only by their first names, Heather and Mike. He earns his living making YouTube videos. That is, earning money of making YouTube videos of how he mentally abused his children. She's an accountant. We spoke to psychologist Dr. Jeffrey Gardier. It may have been uh, well-intentioned and maybe they thought it was funny, but I saw it as uh, something that was very difficult for the kids to go through. It looked to me like those kids were really scared. Well, six years back I was one of the hundreds of YouTube channels who got this ball rolling. I made two of these videos, the first was at the beginning of this one. We were exposing child abuse, hoping these children could be saved. And guess what, we really made a difference this time. Daddy05 lost custody in favor of his ex-wife where they could be safe from this prank abuse. All good, right? 
Well a week ago I received a YouTube notification that my second video about this got a strike and was removed, and for what reason? I am not kidding, it was for child endangerment. Exposing child abuse is now child endangerment as it seems. Of course I repealed this, but when I reloaded the page, it was already rejected in seconds. And I got this automated message. We've looked at your content again carefully, and we have confirmed that it does violate community guidelines. Ending with some other blah blah blah. And all this in one second, they can look really fast, right? This shows just how broken YouTube actually is. And the irony is, all these videos are still online, apparently none of them got community strikes. The same thing is, when you expose and debunk misinformation about vaccination, you get a strike. While well, all this anti-vaccine craziness, which actually can cause people losing their lives, remain untouched on YouTube. YouTube guys, are you out of your bloody minds?